All right. Thank you, David. And this is Tony Mormino with Insight Partners. Welcome to our first live stream factory event. So we're pretty excited about this. We're doing this with Miller Lehman, who is the manufacturer and patent holder of the Thompson Strainer. If you're not familiar with the Thompson Strainer, we're going to do a quick video to show you this really nice um, made in the USA stainless steel strainer product. It's really unique. And then we're going to go to the factory floor and we have David and Sarah who are going to walk us through a demo. So first, let's look at a quick video to give you an overview of this product, the construction and how it flows. So Wenis, will you please play the video? Sure. So this is just to give you a quick snapshot before we go to the factory of how this works and what's unique about this product. So it's got this vertical conical, inverted conical strainer, which is what separates it from the other basket strainers. And what happens is the water comes in the inlet, which we're gonna see here in just a second. This is representing some really, really yucky water. Comes in, the clean water goes out the top and all the stuff we want to be removed hits the strainer. And what makes this unique is it actually falls to the bottom of the can, of the canister here. There's a pressure sensor and a control valve here, and it automatically will flush this thing out when the pressure gets high enough. So it's a very unique design. It's 100% stainless steel. We're gonna look at it in the factory in a minute. Made in the USA product. And okay, David, why don't we go to, we're gonna stop the video and we're gonna spotlight David Romeo and he's going to actually, he is in our factory in, there we go. There's David. David is in our factory in Daytona Beach, Florida. And he's going to walk through with Sarah. Sarah is our trusted camera woman extraordinaire who's been doing a fantastic job. And Dave, David's going to walk through. Um, David, how is the weather in Daytona Beach today? about that. Well, welcome to Miller Lehman. This is our 54,000 square foot facility. Like they were saying in Daytona Beach, it's a nice, uh, probably around a 70 degree day today here in Daytona. So you're all welcome to ever, if you're in the area to come by and we'll give you a factory factory tour. What we're going to do is we're going to spotlight the Thompson strainer. So we'll go right over here to our test station and I'll give you a little example of an MLS-08, which is an eight inch Thompson strainer. Right over here. That's a pretty clean factory there, David. Yeah, we have uh, quite a bit on, on hand in inventory too. So we can deliver uh, probably within two to three days on mostly any of our Thompson strainers. That's great. These are the screens. This is so we'll cool. So right if you're here, watching. We'll, we'll show you a big one right here. Uh, this is going to a pharmaceutical facility. Um, and this one, the uniqueness is it's a 10 inch. And uh, at the bottom, you have legs and you have a bottom flush port. Awesome. We'll go over That's the great. standard model right here, which is our eight inch Thompson strainer that I'm gonna discuss with you. The eight inch Thompson strainer is designed roughly between 750 to 1500 gallons per minute. We recommend right around 1350 gallons per minute. That's around eight feet per second through a line. Uh, the unique thing about the Thompson strainer, I know you guys watched a little video ahead of time, but it's this conical shaped screen. All of our screens come with disc gaskets and filter gaskets, but they're not like a basket strainer, or this would be a basket where the water would flow in the top and come out the sides. Where do the particles go? They all end up inside of a basket. What we do is we invert our strainers. So they're inverted. So it's going to sit in the housing just like this. Okay. Before I place it in the housing, I want you to see the bottom inlet, which is located right here, eight inch flange. You can get that engrooved as well if you'd like, or in other fittings if you would like something else. It comes through, you have a conical shaped screen right here. It goes through the middle of the screen and out the outlet. Again, flange, if you would like it grooved, we can provide that as well. Inside she's showing you, there's a riser and a pipe that comes up. That can be stainless steel, as an option, or our standard is just a PVC 90 and riser that comes up into the screen. The screen itself fits right in. We provide these handles for you. Goes right into the housing. 
comes right down and that's how it sits into the housing. So you have your dirty water side, this is gonna be a pressure differential arm and the clean water side gauges can be placed right here or you can look at a pressure differential arm. After we place the screen into the housing, you would do the head gasket, which sits right across the screen, right on top of the head, and then you would put on the lid. The lid would go on like this, and then the nuts and bolts from there would be applied. All of our units come with an air relief port. It's just a quarter inch air relief port that you can put a little valve on or you can get a quarter inch little air relief if you'd like. But all of our, all of our strainers come with that. Our option features are the pressure differential alarm. That's this pr product right here. It's gonna measure the differential pressure between the dirty water side, which is the bottom side, to the clean water side, which is the top side. We also apply black tubing to the dirty water side and blue tubing to the clean water side. This is 110 electrical. It, it, it works for both the automatic timer flush in the back and the pressure differential alarm. From the factory, it's set at seven PSI. So there's a little setting right here in this gauge that you can set at seven PSI. And if the pressure differential would build up and hit seven PSI, a light would blink and alarm would sound. You could also reset that and then you would have to perform maintenance on the system. We also have the automatic timer flush, which is located right here, which is a stainless steel motorized ball valve. The, the system can be off, toggle switches in the middle. You can manually flush it by hitting the manual flush by holding it. The ball will actuate and it'll flush the unit out. Now, as soon as I let go, it automatically shuts itself. You have an indicator right here of basically off, and of course it moves to be open. This little box right here contains a, um, a timer that can be set and it's factory set to once every 24 hours for eight seconds to flush. And to actuate that, you just would click it on auto timer flush, leave it right there. And once every 24 hours for eight seconds, it'll flush itself. And that's user friendly, adjustable. If you wanna flush it every 48 hours, 64 hours, eight hours, whatever you'd like, you can perform that. So this is our eight inch strainer. Miller Lehman offers two inch models, three inch models, and four inch models. Those three models come with either um, a clamp lid and the four inch comes in clamped or bolted. So the clamp lid is very easy to open up. It's just one clamp on the two inch, three inch and four inch. The four inch goes with bolted, six inch bolted, eight inch bolted, 10, 12 and 14 inch are all bolted. Optional swing bolts if you would like, that's an adder. Anything from flow rates that are low to 10 gallons per minute, all the way up to our 14 inch model, which can handle 4,000 gallons per minute, or we can manifold them together for any particular flow that you would like. Uh, our largest system I think is around 20 gallons per minute, or excuse me, 20,000 gallons per minute. Um, if you have any questions, you can give a call to your Insight representative, they can help you out, or you can call our factory. We thank you for looking at our Thompson strainers and uh, Tony, I'm gonna send it back to you. Great. Thank you, David. Well, You're that was welcome. really cool. Um, if anybody watching this has any questions, this is the first time we've done a factory live video and it was really exciting. We're gonna do a lot more. We kept this one kind of short cause we're trying to work out all the kinks and the technology. But if you have a question on this product or any other products, let us know. And also, I don't know if you saw when David uh, was walking through the factory is there was a big space age looking with thing with a pump on it. That is called the turbo disc. And we are gonna be doing a live demonstration on that on Wednesday. So if you need some information right. on that, you could see it in one of my LinkedIn posts. You could always contact us uh, in this video. There's all the information above to contact us. And we just thank you all so much for your business and thank you for your support. And we hope you enjoyed this. Please like it and share it if you enjoyed it and have a great day. Thank you.